Since the inception of the Seattle Mariners franchise in 1977, the mound in Seattle has been graced by a few all-time great starting pitchers in Felix Hernandez, Randy Johnson, Jamie Moyer. And from 1996 midway through the 98 season, they even had two of those guys in the same rotation. But at no point in their history have they had a starting rotation like they will in 2024. Night in and night out, each guy comes with their own unique arsenal, but all of them are living 95 plus with their fastball, have devastating off-speed and breaking pitches, and have the ability each night they step on the mound to completely dominate their opponent and decide the outcome of the game. And it isn't just the initial starting five. This rotation is the culmination of six years of drafting, developing, and trading, and now the Mariners front office and their fan base are looking to see the fruit of their labor. Logan Gilbert drafted in the first round in 2018. George Kirby in the first round in 2019. Emerson Hancock, first round of 2020. Bryce Miller and Brian Wu in the fourth round and sixth round of the 2021 MLB draft. Followed by the trade for Luis Castillo at the deadline in 2022. Making the case for why the Mariners have the best starting rotation in baseball won't be that difficult, but let's get into it. And before we do, make sure to like and subscribe to the Couch GM to stay up to date on all things baseball and the Seattle Mariners. And if you or someone you know is thinking of buying, selling, or refinancing in the Pacific Northwest, make sure to reach out to myself, the Couch GM, or visit LendedConnorWeb.com to hit a home run with your mortgage financing needs. Now, let's get into it. Starting, of course, with the ace of the rotation, La Piedra, The Rock, Luis Castillo. Since joining the Mariners at the 2022 trade deadline, he's been everything you'd expect from an ace. In 2022, he helped lead the Mariners to their first playoff appearance in 20 years, following it up the next year with 197 innings pitched, an all-star appearance in Seattle, a fifth place finish in the Cy Young voting, and throughout his time in Seattle, he's averaged a 1.098 whip, a 10.2 strikeouts per nine, and a 2.5 walks per nine. He's pitched a total of 262 and a third innings over 44 starts in Seattle, which is averaging 5.95 innings per outing. In 2023, he threw his four-seam fastball 44% of the time, averaging 96 miles an hour. He threw his slider 22% of the time, the sinker 18%, and that devastating changeup 15.6%. Here's his baseball savant from 2023. His overall value as a pitcher was in the 94th percentile. His fastball run value was in the 100th percentile. And he excels in getting guys to chase, to whiff, to strike out, and he limits the walks. On top of his ability on the field, he'll be a huge asset for the rest of the rotation as the younger guys continue to develop, learning what it means to pitch at a high level in the big leagues. And under contract through the 2028 season, La Piedra isn't going anywhere anytime soon. Slotted up second in this rotation is George Kirby. George is a once in a generational type talent and there may not have been anyone like him in MLB history. He is the Bob Ross of baseball, painting those happy little backwards Ks on the edges of the strike zone. He is the definition of a command pitcher, but at the same time, he's also a power pitcher. The Mariners' philosophy is to dominate the zone, and like what Mariners pitching coach Pete Woodworth stated, This guy was built in a DTZ lab. Like, yeah. like this is the holy grail of, of, of strike throwing. And then all of a sudden he starts pumping hundreds. And you're like, holy cow, like he is painting with a hundred. Like this is Jacob deGrom. This is, this is crazy. The command that Kirby possesses night in and night out is on pace to be the best in MLB history. And it's a combination of his strikeout upside with his plus stuff on top of that command. As a matter of fact, the best strikeout to walk ratio any pitcher in history has had throughout their career is 4.83 strikeouts per walk. That record is held by Tommy Bond, who played baseball from 1874 through 1884. He had a 2.4 strikeouts per nine. George Kirby, in his sophomore year in 2023, had 172 strikeouts to just 19 walks. That's a 9.05 strikeout to walk ratio. 
and Kirby was the only qualified starting pitcher in baseball last year with less than one walks per nine innings pitched. He had a 0.9 walks per nine innings pitched. Only seven guys in baseball last year had less than two walks per nine innings pitched. And he's now pounding the strike zone with six different pitches. He throws his four seam fastball 39.4% of the time, his sinker about 22%, the slider about 20%, knuckle curve 11 and a half, the split finger 6.1%, and for the poor soul that has to see this once a game, George Kirby's now throwing a knuckleball. He stated in an interview this spring training that yes, he is going to try to throw this pitch once a game. Here's Kirby's baseball savant from 2023. His pitching run value was in the 96th percentile, his fastball run value was in the 98th percentile, and he excelled compared to other pitchers in getting batters to chase. And of course, there's no one better than him as far as walk rate is concerned. Based on all the information provided so far, George Kirby is my pick for the AL Cy Young in 2024. Slotted up third in this rotation is Logan Gilbert, but you can refer to him as Walter on game days. Logan, in his own right, would be an ace on a lot of teams in the big leagues. He is a unique pitcher because he's releasing the ball closer to home plate than most guys in the league. With his extension in the 99th percentile, he is extending out 7.5 feet from the pitcher's mound at release. That 60 feet 6 inches just became 53 feet. You compare that to Luis Castillo who's in the 1st percentile in extension, and Logan is releasing the ball 2 feet closer to home plate than Luis Castillo. So, as Mitch Garver stated in a spring training interview, Logan's 98 or 99 really plays up to about 107. And equipped with the new split change that replaced his circle change from the year prior, he's been able to live more in the zone, command that off speed, and take his arsenal to the next level. Last year, he threw his four seam fastball 42% of the time, his slider 29.7, split finger 14.8, knuckle curve 13.4, and he threw a sinker seven times. Gilbert's confirmed this spring training that he's learning a cutter, and he's doing away with the sinker because Cal Raleigh said the sinker sucks. With Logan Gilbert in the three spot of this Mariners rotation, this has to be the best top three starting pitchers in a rotation in all of baseball. And it's the best three-man combo in a Mariners rotation in franchise history. In the four spot is Bryce Miller. Bryce Miller's MLB debut was moved up a bit after Robbie Ray went down for the season, and in his first start in Oakland, he set a franchise record with 10 strikeouts, marking the most strikeouts in a debut outing in franchise history. He also allowed just 8 base runners in his first 3 starts, breaking an MLB record held since 1901. He also had the lowest walks plus hits per innings pitched, with 0.421 through a pitcher's first 3 starts in MLB history. He then also became the first pitcher since 1901 to pitch at least six innings while allowing four or fewer hits in his first five career appearances. His four-seam fastball with elite spin rate and spin efficiency is what got him to the big leagues, but what has kept him in the big leagues and will allow him to take the next step in 2024 are the additional pitches that he's added to his arsenal along the way. His four-seam fastball is unique because it drops less than the average fastball. The batter thinks the ball will be lower than it actually is, causing them to pop up the ball or miss completely. However, when you're relying on this pitch and throwing it over 50% of the time, and in his first month in the big leagues, he was throwing it over 70% of the time, eventually hitters will adjust and sit on the pitch. And while Bryce did end the season with five or six pitches, including a four seam, a slider, a sweeper, sinker, and changeup, his splits against lefties versus righties was drastically different. Versus right-handed hitters, he kept them to a 200 batting average with just a 549 on-base plus slugging, but lefties were able to piece him up a bit with a 303 batting average against and a 917 OPS. This is because, as he stated in interviews, he could throw all of his pitches against righties, but he was limited to just the four-seam fastball and the gyro slider against lefties. He only had two pitches to work with against lefties. Fast forward to this offseason and all the craze for Mariners fans was the Bryce Miller splitter updates. During the prior offseason, Logan Gilbert learned how to throw a splitter himself, replacing his circle change that he was throwing. The splitter allows you to throw the pitch like a fastball instead of pronating with the changeup, and so Gilbert was able to command his split finger much better than his changeup and throw it more often. 
Same thing with Bryce Miller. By learning this splitter, it will give him a pitch that will break down and away from lefties, one that he'll be able to command more than the changeup that he was throwing. Instead of relying on two pitches that stay flat or move towards the batter in the four seam and that gyro slider. Another pitch he's added to his arsenal, which isn't being talked about in the mainstream, is that he's done away with his sweeper and he's instead turned it into a slurp. I don't have any footage of this one, but the slurp will be more like a curveball instead of a sweeping slider, meaning this pitch will have less horizontal movement than the sweeper and more vertical movement similar to a curveball. And Bryce's thought with this is that it will be able to play against the lefties more than that sweeper. Bryce is set to take a big step in 2024, so be on the lookout for that splitter, that slurve, and this is another guy with a massive upside. And a fun fact, but Bryce Miller didn't start pitching until his senior year of high school. He debuted in the major leagues just five to six years after he focused on pitching. And he didn't become a starter until his senior year in college, just two years before he debuted. Bryce is just getting started. Rounding out the Mariners starting rotation for 2024 is Brian Wu. And that number isn't a typo. He changed numbers from 33 to 22. Brian, similar to Bryce Miller, was drafted in 2021 and debuted in 2023. Also similar to Bryce Miller, Brian Wu also has a plus fastball. But his fastballs are quite a bit different as he comes from a much lower arm slot. He finished in the 86th percentile in fastball run value and excelled in virtually every category as he was able to limit the hard contact versus opponents. And Brian has five pitches to work with himself. He threw the four seam fastball 47% of the time, the sinker 25.5%, the slider 15%, his sweeper 88 and that changeup he only threw 3.7% of the time. And if you look at that command on the changeup, he might be another candidate for a splitter. Brian had Tommy John surgery just before getting drafted in 2021, and his 130 plus innings that he pitched in 2023 was well beyond double any amount of innings that he had pitched in a prior year. So with Brian, it will all be about staying healthy and again, taking that next step along with Bryce. But seriously, just think for a second, the number five starter for the Mariners is throwing 97 mile an hour sinkers, wiffle ball sweepers, and virtually has the stuff to be a top one to three pitcher in a lot of these pitching staffs. The Mariners also have a former top 10 pick in Emerson Hancock waiting for his big opportunity. He made his MLB debut in August of 2023 after Brian Wu went on the injured list with a forearm strain. But in his third start of his rookie year, he felt something tightening in his shoulder, would eventually be put on the 60 day IL and that would end his season. He's dealt with shoulder fatigue and shoulder injuries since he was drafted in 2020, but this spring, he looks everything like the prospect that he's been. Back up to 97 with his sinker. He also has a four seam, a slider, and a changeup. The Mariners have been very blessed the past few years with starting rotation health, but if there's any issues this coming year, Emerson will be ready to step in. Making solid contact on a baseball is the hardest thing to do in sports. But against this Mariners starting rotation, I'd recommend staying out of that batter's box. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below if you think this is the best pitching staff in MLB history. And we'll see you next time.